I think I actually forgot my notepad, which is great because I need it. Oh, my legs are really hurting. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back on YouTube again after I say a million times, oh I'm coming back on YouTube, yay I'm recording again, I'm going to make videos. And then I just disappear for like a month and nobody really knows why. I'm not really going to explain why I went away again or why I'm back or what my plan is. I'm going to do that in another video, um, like tomorrow or something like that. But today I really wanted to film this video because I'm really excited for it and yeah. So hi, yes, I'm back on YouTube again after ages again. Um, I've got a plan this time though and I'm going to really try and upload every day. got a plan for my channel, finally. I don't know really how old I that. What? I don't really know how I feel about it, but I'm just going to see how it goes. I've thought it over for like a week and I've decided I'm just going to do it anyway and if it comes out really bad um, or I just don't like how it is then oh well. So today in this video what I wanted to do was um, ages ago I made a video um, like a review on a website called romwe.com. This isn't a sponsored video, they haven't paid me to say this, they haven't sent me any free clothes. I've literally just, I shop on there monthly as, as if any of you would. I did a review on them ages ago and I did a little haul type of thing. Um, so today what I wanted to do was because I've spent a lot of money on there in the past, um, this year, throughout summer and autumn and everything, I thought I would do not really a collective haul as such, but like a haul of everything I've bought from there, um, just to give you guys kind of like, not really a review, but like an insight as to what they're like, what the quality is like and everything since, um, I don't know really know why, but I just wanted to do that, so that's what I'm going to do. Um. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys everything I've bought since the review I did ages ago. If you want to go and watch that, um, I kind of did more of a review on the site as a whole. Um, I will link that in the description if you want to go and watch it, then you can. That didn't really make sense, but I'm going to leave it in the video anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the clothes here in front of me. I'm going to show you them on me on a try-on portion of the video. Even though I already know what all of these clothes look like on because I've been wearing them because some of them I bought way back in summer. Um, it just shows you guys what they look like on so if you want to go and buy them then you kind of have a rough idea of what they look like on somebody of my body shape. So if you have the same body shape as me it kind of helps you out a bit. I'm going to tell you the prices and sizes of everything I bought um, in pounds and dollars. I'm gonna talk about the quality of the clothes and this this website is literally my favourite website to buy clothes. I love it. This might actually be up tomorrow so maybe it's Wednesday because this is gonna take me so long to edit but anyway we're gonna stop talking now. So we're just gonna get right into it because I'm very excited. So the first thing is this hoodie right here. Now this hoodie, I have so many hoodies I could do a collective haul of how many hoodies I have. I have so many. But this hoodie is by far one of my favourites. I have two favourite hoodies and this is a very close second. It's just this nude brownie coloured, I want to say brown, but it's not really brown. Is it brown? I don't know. It's this mood coloured hoodie right here. <coughs> I went to speak and like swallow at the same time, that was not a good idea. Yeah, it just looks like this, it's got oh yes written on the front of it. This hoodie is so warm, so thick and the inside, here let me show you, the inside is so fluffy and soft. I wish you could feel this like oh I just want to rub it on my naked body, I really do. <laughs> so super thick and it's so warm when it's cold like you can literally just go out in this like chuck a jacket over the top of it and you're good to go in the snow or whatever like this thing is so thin. 
I love this hoodie so much. So this was, in British pounds, it was £9.08, and in dollars, it was $12.03. I got it in a size medium. <laughs> anyway, yes, I love this hoodie. It's very, very nice. This is, this, this, net. <laughs> can I speak? Not like at all. This next item is a green and blue flannel. I am a sucker for a flannel. I have so many flannels. Sometimes I just put them on and don't button them up. Sometimes if I want to dress up I have like a black and white one which buttoned up looks really smart. And sometimes I just tie them around my waist in the summer with like a little crop top or something and they look really nice. This is one of my favourites. I don't really know why but it is. It's so comfortable and it's got a grey hood with drawstrings as well which I think adds something more to like a plain flannel if you see what I mean. It's quite thin so it wouldn't really keep you warm if you're wearing it over the top of like a t-shirt you'd probably have to wear a jacket as well if it's cold. Um, but it's really soft, really nice quality, um, looks good with most things to be honest with you. Um, like jeans, it looks good with jeans, it looks better with like black skinny jeans, like a white t-shirt I find. This was in British pounds, it was £14.68 and in dollars it would be 19 45 I got this in a size large because um, I do like my flannels to be a bit oversized as well because I usually don't button them up. I just wear them over the top of a t-shirt and I like the sleeves to be longer and I like them to be a bit baggier looking. So I got this in a size large but it fits really well. It doesn't really fit like a size large, it fits more like a, like a medium or something like that. So this next one is something I kind of bought for summer, like if I was going to go to any summer dinners or something like that. I've only worn it about three times since I bought it because it's not really like something I would wear daily because I'm a bit too casual for it. It's this black crop top. Um, and it has these, like, I don't know the terms. I try to be, like, to seem like I know what I'm doing, but I don't really. So, um, yeah. It's actually backwards, so that would help if it wasn't backwards. It's got these things that kind of, like, show your shoulders a little bit. Uh, which I really liked, which is kind of the reason I bought it. I wouldn't buy just a plain black crop top I don't think. Yeah that's this, it's got like, yeah I don't really know how to explain it but hopefully you can kind of like see what I mean and in the try on thing you'll see what I mean anyway. Um, this was £6.58 in British pounds um, and $8.72 in dollars. This is a size, what is it? It's a one size fits all or fits most whatever you want to call it which I think is ridiculous because Somebody with more curves or like somebody who's a bit tubbier than me, I don't think they would fit in this. I don't mean to be rude but like one size fits most is a bit stupid if you ask me because not everyone's going to fit in this. So it fits me really well anyways. The next is this. This green vest. This vest is my favourite vest ever. I wore it like non-stop over summer. It's slightly cropped so you can kind of see here that the, uh, oh, I'm just tripping. I'm just tripping. I was going to say the front is like slightly shorter than the back but it's not. I don't really know what my eyes are doing. But it's got this lace up kind of detail on the front as you can see. I, this all looks a little bit awkward but um, yeah you'll see in the try on part anyway. Um, it's got some lace on the front, um, it goes with jeans, it goes with leggings, it goes with shorts, it goes with anything really. Um, I really like the colour of it, it's really good quality, I've worn it so many times, it's literally my favourite thing in summer, so yeah. Um, that was also a one size fits all, which again not everybody's going to fit into that. I think if you have a larger chest bust area it's not going to fit because it's quite um doesn't give you much room and it's not very like i don't know 
I don't really have any boobs, so it's not a problem for me, but that was £8.22 and in dollars, $10.89. Okay, so this next top is kind of rip-off merch because it says the 1975 on it. Obviously, this is the 1975's like merch, but it's just redone. Love the 1975. I love Matty Healy, I love their songs, I just love everything about them. So when I saw this online that was really cheap, I was like, holy freaking cow, I need that in my life. I've worn it multiple times, I've worn it tucked into high-waisted jeans, I've worn it with leggings, I've worn it with sneakers and boots, and it just looks nice um, with everything. Um, it's good, good quality, it's really soft. This was £6.58 and in dollars, $8.72. I got it in a size medium. So this next one is um, a white crop top. Um, this is fairly simple for like summer and stuff. You can pair this with like anything, any jacket, any hoodie, jeans, leggings, whatever. Um, you can put a flannel over the top of it, which I've done a lot over summer. And it's got this... Um, smiley face kind of embroidery over here i love that that is the whole reason i bought this when i go to stores and i see crop tops i never buy them but this like this is adorable are you kidding me a smiley face do you see how cute mm. but again this material is really soft it fits really well um it's stretchy as well this was also a one size fits all which again not everybody's going to fit into this, um, so it's quite short, um, it's shorter than I would have liked it to be, but with high-waisted jeans it's not really too big of a deal. This was £5.75 in British pounds and $7.62 if you're American. Oh, this next one is one of my faves. For the longest time, I wanted a denim jacket. I used to have a denim jacket, but the sle it didn't have any sleeves. Anywho, I went on runway and I saw this denim jacket and I was like, that is mine, put it in the basket. I really wanted a distressed denim jacket because I think they look nicest. I think like they look more laid back when they're distressed. Um, this didn't come distressed. I distressed this myself. Um, I just found a video online on like how to distress denim jackets or something like that. Um, literally just scissors and tweezers is all you need. But the denim jacket itself from Romwe is really nice. Um, I've worn it hundreds of times. Like I've only stopped wearing it recently because it's too cold. But I've been wearing it all through like summer, autumn, everything on like the chillier days and it's kept me warm. It's kind of a loose, it's not like those tight denim jackets that you can't roll the sleeves up. It's like loose. It's quite jingly. But I love this jacket, it's really really nice, uh, really good quality. Um, this was £20.80 which is kind of a bit more expensive but it feels and looks more expensive than it is. It looks like you could have spent like 30 quid on it. Then in dollars it's $27.56. This was also a one size fits most. Um, again, not everybody's going to fit into this. I did also buy a bikini. Which I was really sceptical about because I was like, I don't know if this is going to fit because I'm larger on the bottom than I am on the top. There's like nothing of me at the top. If the bottoms fit, are the top going to be too big? I was so like iffy about it, but the bikini came and it's super nice. I've worn it like, I've worn it to a water park twice and I've worn it just general swimming about three times. It's really, really nice. Um, I would show you, but I don't want this video to get flagged. I bought some makeup brushes. Now, I'm not huge on makeup. I don't wear it every day. I literally wear it for filming, and if I go out like to the store or like shopping or something like that, I don't really wear it that often. But for kind of special occasions, I don't really have any brushes that properly do the job like for eyeshadow and everything like that so I wanted something that would like help me out a little bit. I bought some makeup brushes from Romwe and this is them. They came in this nice bag, it says makeup tools and accessories at the bottom. Um, it's got so many brushes, like so many. 
I mean, there's so many brushes here. I I use them all the time. They're really good, like, really help you with your makeup and it makes your eyeshadow look better. Really good quality. There's no, like, fallout of hairs because sometimes the cheap ones from, like, the Chinese stores and that can be really iffy, like, they break and stuff like that and hairs come out of them, but these ones don't. £5.39, $7.14 if you're American. Really good quality brushes that I use all the time. So next is this grey t-shirt. I wear this all the time, all the time. It's got a smiley face. I don't know what is with the smiley face theme, but I'm loving it. Look at this. This is adorable. Are you are you are, are you jidding me? Are you jidding? That's how excited I am. I'm jidding. I'm jidding. I really love this. It's such a good quality. Like it fits me really well. Um, it's really soft. It's comfortable, and it this was six pound sixteen. Six pound, which is eight dollars sixteen if you're from across the sea. Um, I got this in a size medium as well, just like with the other one. Everything's in a size medium pretty much in t-shirts for me. But I got this black t-shirt. My wardrobe is like black, grey and white. That is literally it. This is literally just a plain black t-shirt. It's got little roll sleeves, which you can't roll down. They're stitched like that. Um, it's really soft. Like, this feels expensive. It feels like a Topshop top or something like that. It's really soft. Yeah, literally just a plain black t-shirt. You can't really go wrong with a plain black t-shirt, in my opinion. Um, I have like three of them. I'm, I wear all black all the time without even really paying attention to the fact that I do it. <laughs> uh, this was £3.89. £3.89 for this, which feels way more expensive than that. Uh, which is $5.15 if you're across the sea. Got this in a size medium, again, as I said before. So this is kind of something I wouldn't really wear every day, but um, with the denim jacket, I kind of wanted something that would go with it really well, because I don't really have many things that would go really well with a denim jacket, like tops-wise. So I bought this. I wasn't so sure about this when I bought it, um, I kind of just wanted it to go with my denim jacket because I feel like this is going to go really well with it, and like a choker or something like that, but I actually really really love this and I can see me like dressing it up a little bit more with maybe some like high waisted black jeans and tucking it in with like some boots or something and it would look really nice. Um, I don't really wear white because I don't think white suits me very much. I have very little white shirts. But I actually really, really like this. It's kind of cropped. Um, it's got long sleeves. Um, the neck is kind of like... Do you call that like a halter neck or no? What do you call this? I don't really know. But it's really stretchy. The material is really stretchy. Um, uh, hopefully my camera got everything. If it didn't, I'll just show you it online anyway and all the prices and stuff will be there. But yeah, I got a choker, okay? I actually wear chokers a lot and I really love like pairing them with a nice t-shirt. I think they look really nice. And I saw this online on, on Romwe and I couldn't really resist. It's this like three, three stringed like choker. But it came with, it came with this, which is a necklace. A necklace that's got a little gemstone on it, which I think is really nice. I really like it. It actually came with four of these. I've got three spare, uh, which is really good because then if you lose it or it gets broken or something, you've got spare ones. And paired together, these look really nice. Uh, the choker is like suede, it's really good quality, like the, the clips and stuff are just like what you would get from any other store. Uh, the chain on the necklace is really good quality as well. Uh, this was These were £3.11, like for four necklaces and a choker it was £3.11, like 
Um, $4.12 if you're a Americano. For about three years I've wanted a bomber jacket. No joke, like three years. When they first became like a big thing, I was like, I need one of those. But everywhere I went, they're like 40 quid. So I can't spend 40 quid on a jacket. Are you kidding me? I wasn't expecting there to be a bomber jacket on there, but there was one. It's black. And I'm actually really glad that it's black because this is really cool. Um, where is the sleeve? Where did I see that zip? Oh, there. It's got a zip on the sleeve, which is actually a pocket, so you could put your, like, iPod in there. I think, like, dressing it up a little bit with this striped shirt is going to be really nice. Yeah, I'm really, really hyped about this. And when it came, I was like, hell freaking yeah, I've got Bubba Jagger! <laughs> I'm really hyped about this, and I really like it. It was £14.03. Uh, which is $18.61 if you're American, which again is kind of a little bit more pricey, but compared to what they are in Topshop, it's not pricey at all. Like, this was so cheap for what it is. It's really good quality. I mean, it's got the same, like, sweatery material on the top um, and on the cuffs and on the bottom. And this was a one size fits all as well. This I was stepping out of my comfort zone with this because I never wear knit sweaters, like ever. I did once when I was smaller, like a roll neck sweater type thing, but I never wear them. I don't really know why because they're really cosy and nice in the autumn and winter I think. But I saw this online and it looked really really nice and like cosy and casual for like autumn. So I bought it. I was kind of sceptical because sometimes, you know, you buy sweaters and they're really itchy and you buy them and you're like, oh yeah, this is a really nice sweater and they end up being super itchy when you put them on and it devastates you. So being Romwe, like cheap, cheap and like cheap, I was really sceptical about that. But this, my days, dudes, this is so soft, like... I could just bury my soul in this and I'd be happy, like, ooh. It's got a pocket here, which says, add jeans on it, which, yes, definitely I will. The sleeves are just a little bit short for me. Um, if I, like, roll them up or something, or, like, if I'm going out and I just put a jacket over it, it's not really gonna be a big deal. Um, but it kind of looks a bit odd. So the fact that these are, like, wrist length just kind of bugs me a little bit, so... I would have got a size up, no this was one size fits all so I couldn't have even got a size up. Wow. But it fits me in the body and I'm definitely going to be wearing it a lot this winter with like the bomber jacket and like a black and white scarf or something like that. I think it's going to look really nice. But that was £17.93, uh, $23.78 so it was a little bit more pricey but it's really good quality like knit sweater so yeah um i think they're great customer service is really cool as well they're really friendly and polite even though you can tell that english isn't their first language they're still really polite and friendly and they help you with whatever you need but yeah the quality of everything i've gotten from romwe so far has been really good um i really love romwe and i've yet to be put down by them put down let down let down i've yet to be let down <laughs> guys have enjoyed this video if you have give it a massive thumbs up so i know you've enjoyed it subscribe to my channel down below for new videos i'm coming back i'm back in action social medias will be linked in the description as well if you want to head over and follow them i suggest you do remember to stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next video